don't try to be as short as my little legs. <laughs> my name is Susan Book. I'm trying to be a writer. I'm sometimes an advocate, but I'm always an autism mom. Sure I have a second grader at Reedy Creek Elementary who is on the autism spectrum. Cuts to education and the class size mandate have deep impacts on all our kids. It has an even deeper impact on kids with disabilities. In many ways, my son should be a poster child for a lower class size. He thinks schools would be so much better if there were only teachers and no more students. <laughs> School is probably the most challenging thing my son endures. It's loud, social challenges are everywhere, and according to him, it smells funny. These are days my son is a potential meltdown waiting to happen. This is why the unfunded class size mandate is so dangerous. The key is funding. It takes resources and personnel, equipment, and space Amen. to provide for a child on the spectrum. Without proper resources, I'm afraid my son might have more meltdowns. Meltdowns aren't pretty. They aren't like on TV. My son is not a savant who will go in a corner and rock. Nope. Meltdowns are messy and loud and potentially violent. All right. And my pages are all screwed up. Okay. You got this. It's okay. My biggest fear is what's happening already. <laughs> what we're seeing in schools. Fourth and fifth grades are rising in numbers. There are less TAs than there were 10 years ago. Amen. There is less per pupil spending. Space has become limited. I'm becoming increasingly world that's worried that schools will be unable to hold, uphold my son's IEP. This is federal law. We are tying, we are tying schools' hands, and it's time to stop and repeal the unfunded mandate. All right. So, in closing, let me share one more thing. Thank you all for coming. It's freezing out here. You did something extraordinary. You showed up. Amen. So did you. And now the only thing left is to keep showing up. <laughs>